Hi, welcome to the shop. So, I'm building a cedar strip canoe, and I thought what I'd do today is a quick walkthrough of the process I use to fit the strips on the boat. So, the strips have already been milled with a, uh, a bead and cove, which allows the strips to, to interlock and, and align with each other pretty well. So the trick is to cut this taper so that the strips fit on the edge at the uh, keel line of the boat where the two halves meet. Start by lining up the strip in the general position where it's going to live. And I hold a straight edge down that center line so that I can trace the approximate shape that I'm going for, like so. Once that's done, I knock off the extra material with a razor. At this point I'm not trying to be super, super accurate, I just want to get it close enough to get it in the hole and actually start test fitting. So once that's approximately to shape, you end up with a situation like this, where it's about the right shape and size, but it's not as tight as I'd like it to be. So then I'm just looking to see where the, where the tight spots are. Back at the heel here, there's a little bit of material that needs to be removed. looked like it was a little bit tight right up at the front there. So I'll just do a little bit of sanding and then check the fit again. Once it's getting fairly close, it looks like I need to undercut that a little bit at this point. The uh, top edge is not as tight as the bottom and so again I'm just going to use my sanding block I'd rather have it be a little loose on the bottom and the uh, side that you see be nice and tight but given that this is a canoe you'll actually be looking at the inside as much as the outside so I want it to fit pretty good that's getting very close now so for final fit, I'm going to actually use a piece of sandpaper in the joint that I'm trying to fit. And I just slide the sandpaper in, slide the strip up until it's just slightly snug, and then pull the sandpaper out. And apply just light pressure to the strip into the slot. It will create an almost perfect fit in a relatively short period of time. Once you have a fit that you like, I'm going to put a witness mark on the strip for where, where I want it to align when I put it back in. Because with these fine tapers, once you put glue on it, the glue acts as a lubricant, and if you push harder, it will slide in further than you might want otherwise. And that will actually possibly split the boat in half. You can apply so much pressure there on that fine taper that you can break previous glue joints. So once that's set where I want it to be, I'm come down here and mark the long point of my scarf joint which is simply a, uh, again, a fairly fine taper so that you have a large amount of glue area. And I've made a jig for my miter saw, which allows me to make quick and accurate scarf joint cuts that are, it makes it very easy to 
get my pieces cut to length and aligned. Once that's done, all that remains is to glue the piece up and install it permanently. Because this uh, bead and cove fits so nicely, it really doesn't require much glue. So I just apply a small bead down the cove, as well as some to all the, the ends where it needs to fit up and, and glue up. Once that's done, also put just a little tiny dab right in the point there because it often wipes the glue off as you slide it into place and I don't want to have anything that isn't glued up well. Slide that back to line up the witness mark and everything gets clamped in place. There you have it. One strip fit. And uh, yeah, repeat that about a thousand times and you have yourself a cedar strip canoe. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.